So continuing on from the last video, the last video I showed how we could use an alias and I was, I brought in a UDT from a Logix controller and then uh, created a faceplate. I called it pump faceplate. And then I created multiple instances of the faceplate and then just um, used the alias to, to bring uh, each of the UDTs for pump one, two, and three into each faceplate. And I had said that that was resolving at design time, meaning that everything I did was configured in design time. And uh, just to refresh down here, we had our com drivers uh, under our echo emulator CPU. I had my uh, controller tags, which were my three pump UDTs. And then I had these um, this variable type called pump UDT that got created when I imported the tags. And then uh, back here in my Studio 5000, these were my controller tags again. I created a UDT and had pump one, two, and three, and I had given it, given it some, some data in each of these tags for each pump. So what I wanted to show next was kind of one of the methods we could do is resolving at runtime, meaning that we could choose um, the index, so to speak, as to which uh, motor, or I'm sorry, which pump we'd want to show um, during runtime. So it's actually pretty simple to do since I've already set up the structure of the alias, right? So let me go back to my, um, remember I created a, uh, let me go back up to the top here. I created a folder under UI called faceplates and I had my pump faceplate here, right? So that's kind of my base object, the, the faceplate. And um, basically what we have here was I, I essentially had a, a given it an alias, created an alias, and then I had the kind pointing to the pump UDT uh, type that got imported in from the Logis controller. So I don't have, to, don't have to change anything in this faceplate. So I'm gonna go back to the main window, and this is where I had created three instances of that faceplate. So I had faceplate one, two, and three. And in each case, I basically said, okay, instance one, you're tied to pump one. Phase, uh, instance two, you're tied to pump two. Instance three, you're tied to pump three. So what I'm gonna do now is I wanna go ahead and delete two of these instances. And uh, we're just going to use one instance, and I'm going to use an index to basically change dynamically while in runtime what I want to show. So the, the do this is actually pretty simple. Um, all I got to really do up here is come to my pump alias, and I'm going to basically put the curly braces around that number there and hit enter. Now, when that happens, you might get a, a little exclamation point in there and it might be saying something like, hey, this, this can't be resolved until runtime and that's okay. So we're gonna leave this just like it is. Now, for this to work, we need to give it some sort of link to choose what the index is. So this could be a tag um, from a controller or whatever. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just use a little spin box, they call it. So one of the, one of the uh, objects, base controls is a spin box. And this is just a simple little, um, little box where I can kinda you know, toggle up, toggle down a numerical value. So uh, we can set a minimum and a maximum. And since I've only got three instances, I'm gonna go ahead and set my min and max to three so we don't exceed uh, our pump instances. And then the value of course right now is zero, so that's okay. So now back, when I come back to here, I click on my uh, pump faceplate and I got my, uh, my uh, pump alias with the uh, curly braces now. I come back to to the um, come back to the dynamic link, and for this link here, I'm going to go ahead and tie it to that spin box I just created. So to find that, 
We need to go back to the main window, scroll down a little bit, and we will find a spin box. I'm going to expand that and the value. I'm going, to, I'm going to tie it to the value of the spin box. And I'm going to say, OK. So that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and save this. And I'm going to go ahead and open up the emulator. All right, so uh, here's the here's our emulator. I'm going to tie it to one. So when I when I went to uh, index one, I got pump 101, and it's off and zero speed. And if I go ahead and bring my uh, Logics Studio 5000 um, tags back open again, we'll watch that these will all match. So now when I uh, choose index two. It changed it to pump 201-B. It changed the speed to 55, and it's showing it's running. And if I go to pump 3, it changed the label to 301C. Uh, it's running, and about 25. So, so that's just an index. Pretty simple. It did require to do all the pre-work that I did in the previous video, and then just simply changing the, uh, the alias with the, with the curly brace and then of course tying um, you know to some sort of dynamic link in order to know which which the index value is.